to you from the Link Center at Lehman Library where we're bringing you all the latest trends on different game systems. So today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. Sony has been giving us a little bit of detail throughout the year as to what's going to be associated with the PlayStation 5 and its release. The release date has been set for the holiday season of 2020, which would be this later this year. Typically in um, Sony's history. They've released the PlayStations in November. There has been a rumor that November 20th may be the release date for Sony this year. Well, it has a dual sense controller instead of a dual shock controller. PlayStation 4 featured that dual shock controller with the rumble feature that incorporates haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and also has a built-in mic. All of those components combined help to give the player a more immersive game experience. The virtual reality components will still be accessible and compatible with the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 will also feature ray tracing, which is to give the gamer a more lifelike visual experience. The coolest feature, in my opinion, is that it is backward compatible, which means you can play a majority of PlayStation 4's games on the PlayStation 5 system. As of now, they haven't released a price point. The price point for the PlayStation 4 at release was $399. There have begin there have been rumors. Again, just rumors. There has nothing been confirmed by Sony. But rumors are saying that the price point for the PlayStation 5 may be at about $499. Well, that's all I've got for you for the PlayStation 5. If you have any other questions or concerns, something I didn't address that you would like to know about, please leave a comment down below. You can go ahead and like the video if you uh, enjoyed seeing what I offered and subscribe if you'd like to get notifications to future videos. Thanks so much for joining us today and we'll see you again next week.